Let's go up to the top of the screen, click on File, and then go to Open Scene. I'm going to open up Duplicate Special.mb. So what the Duplicate Special tool does is it allows us to create half of a model and then mirror that half across one of the three axes. So, for example, I could model the side, one side of somebody's face, and then mirror it across the x-axis to the other side. And what this does is it just allows us to save a lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the exercise and you can see once we get started how useful something like this will be. I'm going to start with this pattern right here, the red pattern. So I'll click right here for a new cube and then I'll press W and I'm going to move this cube over to where the pattern is. And then I'm just going to press F to frame it. So what I want to do is I want to divide this cube in half. So I'm going to go over to my channel box and I'll click right here under inputs where it says polycube1 and under subdivisions width I'm going to change this to 2 and then press return. So over here in the perspective panel I'm just going to press F to frame it and what that did is it just added an edge loop going all the way through the middle of that cube. So, I'm going to go back to the top panel, hold down my right mouse button, go to face, and then I'm going to click and select all the faces on the left hand side. And you can see, you can check over here in the perspective panel that you have just the left side selected. And then I'm going to press delete. Now, I need to go back to object mode, so I'll right click, go to object mode, and then I'll select the object. So this is the stage where we're going to duplicate. So make sure that your object is selected. If it's not, the duplicate will not work. So I'm going to go up to edit, and then go down to duplicate special, and then over to this little options box right here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to switch from copy to instance. What instance does is it allows me to model on one side and it will, whatever I do on the one side of the object, it will mirror that to the other side. Okay. So we want to make sure instance is checked. Now under scale over here, this first box is the X value, this is the Y value, and this is the Z value. So right now we're looking at this cube and over here I have a little indicator and this is the x-axis going this way. And so what we want to do is we want to duplicate this along the x-axis so that this shape mirrors over to here. So what that means is I'm going to change scale x to negative 1 and then I'll hit apply. So then I'm going to close the options box right here. So now what happens if I go to vertex and select a vertex over here, you can see here's our instance over here. Whatever I do on this side is mirroring across the X axis. So if I hit W and move this, it matches up. So what I'm going to do is I will just hit Q. I'm going to right click and go to face and select the face on the outside of this cube. I'm going to use the extrude tool and hit this button once. I'll use the blue arrow right here to move out and you can see I've extruded faces on the right side and it's mirroring that instance is going um, out on the left side. So I'll just go out to the line and then I'm going to click once on this blue box and then I'll click and drag on the light blue box to scale from the center. And then I'm going to hit extrude again and go all the way out to the edge of the pattern. So now I'm going to right click, go to object mode and select this object. So now that we're done creating our shape, what we need to do is we need to combine them so that it's all one object. So 
I will select one side, hold down the shift key, and then select the other side. And then I'm going to go up to mesh and then combine. Now if I click anywhere on this object, it's all connected. Now there's one last thing that we need to do, and that is merge the vertices. So in order to see how many vertices we have, I'm going to go up to display, heads up display, and then poly count. So now over here in the top panel, I'm going to right click and go to vertex. And I'm going to click and drag and select all the vertices going through the middle of this object. Now if you look over here under verts, the total vertices selected is 8. Now if we look over here in the uh, perspective panel, we have, it looks like, only 4 vertices selected. However, these two objects, before we combine them, were separate, which meant that this object on this side had four vertices and the object on this side had four vertices and then when we combined them the two objects were welded together but the vertices did not get welded okay so what we need to do is we need to merge these vertices together so I'm gonna go up to I'm gonna go to edit mesh and then down to merge and you can see over here or in any of these panels that the number of vertices changed from 8 to 4. So now that I've merged the vertices, I can right click on the object and go to object mode. And now this object is complete. So let's start with the second shape. So I'm going to click on the cube right here, hit W and move this over. All right, now I'm going to go over here to the channel box. I'm going to click on Polycube 2. And I'm going to change the subdivision's depth to 2 to give myself that edge loop going through the middle. OK. So now I'm going to right click and go to Face. And I'll click and drag to select all the faces on the bottom side of this object. And then I'm going to press delete to delete them. Then I'm going to right click, go to object mode, select the object. With the object selected, I'm going to go to edit and then duplicate special and then go to the options box and then I'll click. Now, before when we did our duplicate special, we went along the x-axis. So here what we have is we need to go along the z-axis. So I'm going to change this negative 1 back to 1 and I'm going to switch to this box over here. So this is x, this is y, and this is z. So I'll change this to negative 1 and then I'll hit apply. So now I'm going to close this. So now I'll go in and I'll just select the original object right click, go to face, and then I'll select this face, and then I'll hit extrude, and I'll use the blue arrow to move out, and then I'm going to click on this red cube right here and let go. Then I'll click and drag on the light blue cube in the center to scale from the center. And then I'm going to hit extrude one more time. And now I'm going to right click on the object and go to object mode. So I'll press Q for my selection tool. I'm going to just click and drag around both objects to select both of them. Now I'm going to go up to mesh and then combine. And then over here in the top panel, I'm going to go to Vertex, select all the vertices in the middle here. I can see that I have eight vertices selected. I'll go up to Edit Mesh and then Merge. And now I've got just four. So now this object is done. I'll go to Object Mode. And let's do the last one, which is over here in the front panel. 
So I'm going to create a new cube. And I'll hit W. And then I'm going to move this over in the top panel. And now I can see it over here in the front panel. So I'll press F. And I'll just line this up with the reference image. Now we need to subdivide right here. And so uh, what we'll do is we'll go over here to the channel box, click on Polycube 3, and then I'll change the subdivision's height to 2, and then press Return. So now I will right-click on the object, go to Face. I'll select all the faces on the bottom right here, and then press Delete. Then I'm going to right click and go to object mode and make sure my object is selected. Now I'm going to go up to edit and then go down to duplicate special and over to the options box right here. And now I'm going to change the Z value back to 1 and then I'm going to switch over to the box for the Y value and change that to negative 1 because we want to duplicate along the y-axis going down this way. So then I will hit apply and then I'll close this. Alright, so I'm just going to select this cube and hit F. So I'll take the original object which is on the top, I'll right click, go to face, and I'll select this object, right, uh, this face right here, and then I'll press extrude and I'll go up and then I'll click on this red cube right here and then I will click and drag on the light blue cube to scale in and then I'll press extrude one more time and I'll go up and then I'll just right click on the object go to object mode press Q for my selection tool and I'm going to select both objects, go up to Mesh, and then Combine. And now over here in the front panel, I'll right click, go to Vertex, and I'll select all the vertices in the center of the object. Then I'll go up to Edit Mesh, and then I'll go to Merge. And then I can see right here that number changed from 8 to 4. That means that we have combined and merged all the vertices, so this object is now completed. So these shapes are fairly simple, and we don't necessarily need to do something like a duplicate special for something this simple. But when you're modeling um, a character in Maya or a complex object, the duplicate special comes in very handy. It's a very useful tool. Alright, so that is the conclusion of the exercise for Duplicate Special.